Now we have Acrobat back to its default state. And from here, I'd like to show you some of the common things that we'll be doing with the toolbars. It's very quick. So to open a PDF, all you have to do is click this icon right here, browse to the PDF that you want to open, select it, say open. Very easy. We happen to have this PDF open right now. We could print it by clicking the print button. That would call up a print dialog. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can see that that's right there and you can select your printer and off you go. You could send it by email by clicking the email button. You can also navigate through the pages and you can see that as I click on these arrows, the pages change. Something you may also be noticing is that the PDF is hard to read because it's zoomed out to fill the entire screen. Well, we have a solution to that as well. Over here on the right, there's a nice button here that says, click to show one page at a time. And if we select that, this allows us to see the entire page of the PDF. And with our monitors being fairly large today, this is a great way to go ahead and to see the entirety of the PDF and all of the pages that are in it. When you select this button right here, you can also grab on the scroll bar. And as you scroll, you can see that you get a nice preview over there of the different pages in the PDF. It makes it very easy to see what's going on. I'd like to go back to page one, I'd like to go down here say to the last page, and then any page in between. Try that yourself. Open the PDF, click to show one page at a time, and then grab the bar and slide it up and down. So if you go back to page one, now we're all on the same page. We can also navigate around the PDF using the pages panel here, and we'll spend a lot more time in the pages panel in later chapters, but for now, let's know that we can navigate through the PDF using the pages panel as well. We have a number of other tools that I'd like to look at. For instance, we have our selection tool, and our selection tool allows us to select content in a PDF. So if you have content that's not a picture, you can select it just like we did. You could go up to edit, copy, and then you could paste that into your word processing application, into your email application, wherever you wanted to use that copy. If I scroll down to another area where there's some larger blocks of copy, I can select larger blocks of copy. Acrobat is smart enough in most PDFs to figure out how these blocks of copy are supposed to connect to each other. So I could select all of that. Now I'm going to say right click and copy. And then I could use that simply to paste it into my word processor again into my email, however I wanted to use that in the PDF. Very useful little bit. We have a hand tool over here and the hand tool allows us to navigate the PDF. But in order to do that, we have to be out of the one page at a time mode and we need to be able to scroll. So now that I have in the scrolling mode, I can select, click and drag, click and drag through the pages, and this will allow me to move around in the PDF. I can zoom in. You can see that there's a zoom tool. So if I like to get really close to this right here, I could do that. I could zoom out. If I hold down my option key and click or control click, it will zoom out. So click and zoom, click and zoom. If I have zoomed in on an area, we'll zoom in one more time. I can use my hand tool, switch back to the hand tool, and I can scroll side to side as well as up and down. I like to go back to my full page mode for now, so I click on that button and it brings me back to the full page view. You'll also see that I can control the zoom level by typing in a value. So if I want to type in 75%, hit enter and it will take you to that zoom point. 